now we'll see how to throw your own exception how to throw your own exception now throwing your own exception you even call it customized exceptions customized exception now let's see what do you mean by a customized exception now look here you get this kind of an output when you run your program now this particular exception it is called java dot lang dot arithmetic exception okay it is something which is predefined inbuilt in java if you look in the first output we have java dot lang dot array index output these are things which are inbuilt in java and here also you have a message division by zero here you have a message 10 here also you have a division division by zero now throwing your own exception means instead of java dot lang dot arithmetic exception you can have an exception like rejida's exception exception made by bibit okay you will have a name for this exception as your own name you call it my own exception or a customized exception instead of this error message like you know division by zero or 10 you can give another message that is what you mean by throwing your own exception now what we'll see is how do you make such kind of customized exceptions which means you know you will even have to have an exception name and you will even have to have a message these many things should be there in your own exception now let's see how to do it okay let's say throw own okay i'll have a, a class called throw own i'll be saving my program in that particular thing before that let's have a question throw your own exception throw your own exception when division of two numbers division of two numbers give you a result less than 0 0.01 less than 0 0.01 okay so uh, I'll just have two numbers float x is equal to float x is equal to 5 uh, float y is equal to 1000 okay uh, try I'm going to do the division of these so I'll write float z is equal to x by y if because you know this is what my question was i've got to check if z is less than 0 0.01 okay so my question tells me whenever the division it goes less than 0 0.01 you will have to throw up a new exception you will have to make your own exception this is not a division by zero this is not array out of bound this is not null pointer you are creating your own rules you're creating a rule over here whenever it goes less than 0 0.01 which means you have to make a new exception to make a new exception you write throw you're creating a new one so you write the keyword new i'll give any name okay i'll give away a and exception i am throwing a new exception called my own name throw and exception and the message i want to give here is let's say number is too small okay the message the message i need to give is number is too small and here i don't catch arithmetic exception instead i catch up and exception because you know that is what the exception which is being thrown i call uh, i write catch and exception okay and then here i can write like you know caught and exception simply an sop and then i'll have to write here print ln e let me check my brackets yeah my brackets are fine okay. so hope 
the logic is very clear. I've got two numbers. I'm simply doing an X by Y. Whenever it goes less than 0.01, I'm telling them, throw up a new exception called and exception. And the error message should be number is too small. Now look here. I have created a new exception called and exception. Now, whichever exception you create, it should be a child or it should extend the exception class. These are a few rules which you should keep in mind whenever you create a new exception. I'll write them over here. The rules are, it should extend the exception class you will have a corresponding class for the exception and you should have a constructor for the exception. Construction, constructor for the exception. These are the three things you should be having to create your own exception. Okay, I'll go once again you should have a corresponding class for the exception. That class should extend the exception class. Exception class is a default. Just, uh, it comes under throwable. It should extend the exception class and you should have a constructor for that exception. So let me create. I'll follow the rules. So I will have to create a class called ANS exception. I'll create a class called ANS exception. It should extends which class? It should extends exception. Okay, so like you know, I've told in my rules, I have a class, it will extend the exception, and I should have a constructor for that. I should have a constructor for that. I should have a constructor. The constructor will be nothing but, you know, I'm planning to call a message, uh, to pass a message over here, to display a message. So I'll have a string passing. I'll have a string, let's say, message or mess, whatever. Whenever you call this concept, uh, this uh, particular constructor, it should go to the super method. It should go to the parent method. So I'll write mess, that's it. Okay, I'll have my brackets. Okay, so I've satisfied all my rules over here. Whenever the value goes less than S, uh, Z less than 0 0.01, I am throwing up a new exception with a particular message, number too small. Now, to throw a customized exception, you should have a class for the exception, which extends exception because, you know, it is, uh, it should be, extending the inbuilt exceptions in Java. Otherwise, you know, you will not be able to make an exception. You should have a constructor. The constructor should pass the message. Let me save my program. Throw own. File, save as throw own dot Java. Okay, I'll save my program. I'll take my command prompt. Java C throw Java T H R O W O W N. Okay, now look here. You remember in the earlier program, I had an output like this. Okay, Java dot lang dot arithmetic exception. You know, I wasn't happy with that name. So I created an exception called ANS exception. The message was division by zero. I wanted my own exception telling me that the numbers are too small for division. And then I get my SOP. Okay, I'll go once again. I'm calling an exception with my own name and my own message. I'll go back to my program. Okay. I've created a new exception called ANS exception. You can give any name. You can give any name over here. Whatever is the name of the exception, catch that exception, create a class for that exception. Just keep in mind these three rules. You should have a corresponding class. It should extend the exception class and you should have a constructor. Constructor will be nothing but, you know, you're passing a string over here. So I'm passing a 
string over here. You can have numbers over here. If you're having a number over here, pass a number over here. Very simple. But usually, uh, exception uh, messages, they are strings. You give in detail what happened. You give in detail what happened. 